This story begins with something Tesla never announced in big headlines. No dramatic press release, no flashy demonstration, just a quiet, almost invisible change hidden deep inside their cars. For years, Tesla's electric motors had followed a trusted formula, proven, predictable, familiar. But suddenly that formula was gone. Engineers at Tesla made a bold decision, ripping out the very heart of what had powered their flagship Model S for years, replacing it with something new, something strange, a motor design most people had never heard of. The question is, why? What problem were they trying to solve? And what did they discover? The old Tesla motor problem. Before this quiet shift happened, Tesla's flagship cars, especially the Model S, relied on a type of motor called the induction motor. It wasn't a new invention. In fact, it had been around for more than a century. Rugged, reliable, and relatively simple, it was the kind of machine engineers trusted. At its core, the induction motor works by sending alternating current through coils wrapped around the outside of the motor. This created a rotating magnetic field. That field would then induce an electric current in the rotor, the spinning part inside. The two magnetic fields interacted, and the rotor turned. It sounds straightforward. And for the most part, it was. Induction motors offered decent performance, especially at higher speeds. They had no permanent magnets inside, which made them cheaper and less dependent on rare earth materials. But there was a trade-off. To make the rotor spin, the motor had to create currents inside it. That meant extra energy loss right from the start. Long highway drives showed this weakness clearly. Efficiency dropped. 3 to 4% of energy was wasted just heating up the rotor. And when it came to launch torque, the force needed to get the car moving quickly from a standstill, these motors struggled to deliver the explosive power EV drivers crave. For a company obsessed with pushing boundaries, this wasn't good enough. Tesla needed something better, something faster, more efficient, more responsive. The search for a new solution had begun. Why permanent magnets weren't enough? When Tesla engineers looked for alternatives, Permanent magnet motors seemed like the obvious choice. Unlike induction motors, these didn't rely on induced currents inside the rotor. Instead, they used strong, carefully placed magnets that created a constant magnetic field. The advantage was immediate, more starting torque, better low-speed efficiency, and less wasted energy. On paper, this sounded perfect. The science behind it was simple but powerful. When you run electric current through the stator, the stationary outer part of the motor. It creates a rotating magnetic field. The magnets inside the rotor naturally want to align with this field. The result is a forceful, instant spin. No delay, no energy is lost to heating rotor bars. For city driving and stop-and-go traffic, this was a dream. Quick acceleration, immediate torque. A perfect fit for the fast, responsive field Tesla drivers loved. But the honeymoon didn't last long. As soon as the car started cruising at high speeds, a new problem appeared. Something called back electromotive force, or back EMF. At higher RPMs, the rotor's strong magnetic field started fighting against the incoming electrical energy from the battery. This invisible pushback made the motor harder to control and less efficient at highway speeds. There was another issue too, heat. The powerful magnets inside the rotor weren't immune to physical stress. As the motor spun faster, electrical eddy currents swirled inside the metal parts of the magnets, creating unwanted heat. Over time, this raised the risk of the magnets weakening or even demagnetizing completely. Tesla engineers found themselves stuck. They had a motor that was great for low-speed power but bad for high-speed cruising. And the old induction motors were the exact opposite better at high speeds but less efficient during acceleration. It became clear, neither solution was enough on its own. Tesla needed a third option, a motor that could deliver the best of both worlds. The hidden power of reluctance. To solve the puzzle, Tesla engineers turned their attention to something less talked about in the world of electric motors. Reluctance. At first glance, the concept seems almost too simple. Reluctance is just a material's tendency to resist the flow of magnetic fields. 
Think about how an iron nail jumps toward a magnet. The nail prefers to stay where the magnetic field is strongest because that's the path of least resistance for magnetic lines to travel. Engineers call this a low reluctance path. But what happens if you shape your motor's rotor in a way that it constantly tries to move toward this low reluctance state as the magnetic field rotates? You get something special, reluctance torque. Instead of depending on magnets or induced currents to create motion, this design uses the physical geometry of the rotor. As the rotating magnetic field from the stator sweeps around, the rotor naturally tries to align itself with the moving field to minimize reluctance. It's like the rotor is always chasing the easiest magnetic path. Motors built on this principle are called synchronous reluctance motors. They don't require expensive magnets. They don't suffer from back EMF in the same way. And they're incredibly efficient at higher speeds. But they also come with a downside. At low speeds and during vehicle launches, their torque output lags behind what a permanent magnet motor can deliver. Alone, they couldn't solve Tesla's full performance challenge. However, the engineering team at Tesla wasn't looking for one motor or the other. They were looking for a way to combine the strengths of both. The next phase of their motor revolution was about to take shape. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Tesla's new hybrid motor design. The answer lay in a clever blend of two opposing ideas. Instead of choosing between a permanent magnet motor and a reluctance motor, Tesla engineers asked a simple but bold question. Why not use both at the same time? This thinking gave birth to Tesla's Internal Permanent Magnet Synchronous Reluctance Motor, or IPM SYN-RM for short. At the heart of this design was a rotor that combined the magnetic force of permanent magnets with the geometric advantages of reluctance-based torque. But there was a trick to making it work. The magnets couldn't sit on the rotor's surface like traditional PM motors. That would only bring back the high-speed efficiency problems they were trying to avoid. So the engineers buried the magnets deep inside the iron core of the rotor. They carefully carved out specific slots within the metal, creating paths that would naturally encourage reluctance torque. The magnets themselves were shaped and positioned to balance low-speed power with high-speed control. This layout served two purposes. First, the internal placement of the magnets helped reduce back EMF. The further the magnets were from the stator windings, the less influence they had on unwanted voltage buildup at high speeds. Second, the unique slot geometry amplified the rotor's natural tendency to align with the rotating magnetic field, boosting reluctance torque. Tesla didn't stop there. They went further and segmented each magnet into smaller pieces inside the rotor. This might seem like a minor detail, but it played a big role in controlling heat. Smaller segments meant lower eddy current losses, keeping the magnets cooler during operation and preventing demagnetization. What emerged from this design wasn't just a new motor. It was a hybrid system, one that delivered high torque at low speeds and maintained efficiency as the RPM climbed. The motor didn't just spin, it adapted. How Tesla controls torque and speed. Building a hybrid motor was only part of the challenge. The real magic came in how Tesla controlled it. At the center of this control system was something called the Rotating Magnetic Field Angle, or RMF Angle for short. This is the angle between the magnetic field generated by the stator and the rotor's magnetic field. Adjusting this angle allowed Tesla engineers to control how much torque the motor produced at any given moment. At low speeds, where instant torque mattered most, Tesla kept the RMF angle near the sweet spot where both permanent magnet torque and reluctance torque peaked together. This made launches from a standstill feel aggressive and effortless. But when the car started reaching higher speeds, something interesting happened. The permanent magnets began generating more and more back EMF. To avoid efficiency losses, Tesla shifted the RMF angle to a position where the motor's magnetic field actively weakened the effect of the rotor magnets. This strategy, called field weakening, allowed the motor to keep spinning faster without overwhelming the stator with unwanted voltage. It also lets the reluctance torque take the lead role in keeping the car moving efficiently at highway speeds. 
The motor's controller constantly adjusted these angles in real time. It read driver inputs, vehicle speed, and torque demands, then calculated the perfect balance between magnetic and reluctance forces. The result? A motor that didn't just deliver power when needed, but knew exactly how to manage its internal physics for every driving condition. From hard acceleration to quiet highway cruising, Tesla's IPM Sin RM motor became a master of balance. This story isn't just about magnets, iron, or clever engineering decisions. It's about a mindset, a refusal to settle for good enough. Tesla could have kept building cars with the same old motors, following the industry standard like everyone else. They could have accepted the known limits of induction technology or permanent magnets, but instead, they chose to experiment, to innovate quietly, far from public attention. The result wasn't just another motor. It became a living example of what happens when creativity meets engineering discipline. A motor that blends two conflicting principles and makes them work together in perfect balance. So next time a Tesla glides past you, remember underneath, there's a machine defying physics with every turn and redefining what's possible.